hey Aries, this is your sacred scribe here ready to do your weekend forecast from May 8th to the 10th. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you today. Ooh. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Aries. Before you leave, if you would, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscription. Also, comment. Let me know if this resonates with you. I'm going to get four cards here, and then I'm going to get a channel's message from Spirit for you, Aries. All right. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, the information is in the description box below. Ooh. And the plot thickens, Aries. What's going on here? Okay, one more card. Two more cards. Gotcha. All right. Okay. We have the devil. We have the knight of cups, the sun, the chariot, and the ace of swords. And at the bottom of the deck, oh, the tower. All right. Let's get this message from spirit and see what they have for you. your own story, Aries. It's like that's what we manifest, right? Our own story. So that's what I'm feeling from that statement. Tell your own story. Meaning, tell what you want to the universe. Tell your desires to the universe. And then start to act as if. Start to act towards it but live as if it's, it's already here. Okay, they're showing me like downhill, right? You know when you're going downhill, it's just like gliding. They're saying once you get this manifestation process going, it's going to be all downhill from there. It's, it's like easy. So it's like right now I feel like you're, you're doing, well, what you would think is the harder part. But once you get a momentum going, then it's just, you're just going to glide. The tower. Hmm. Now you have a love offer coming. Unless you're giving it, but I'm feeling that you're receiving it. This could be from somebody at a distance. <clears throat> could be a Capricorn with the devil card here. Uh, so be careful. If this is somebody, if this is somebody from the past, because Venus is going retrograde in Gemini, right? If this is somebody from the past, it may be somebody that you have a toxic relationship with. Codependency. You will gain a lot of truth, though. I feel for a lot of you, this is somebody from the past, and light will be shed on a lot of things that you've wondered about. Yeah, they see this as an opportunity. That's Ace of Pentacles. They see this as an opportunity to um, step to you for some reason. Nine of... Oh, okay. They just said because of what's going on. Right? So they see this as an opportunity. The Nine of Wands here is clarifying the devil and the chariot. So you may be a little bit defensive when this person comes forward. <laughs> yeah. Wow. They're going to lay it on thick. They are going to offer you a big cup of love. They will, Aries. So let's see. Now you get two ace. No, you've got three aces here. Holy shit. You got the ace of pentacles, the ace of swords, and the ace of cups. Tell me about the ace of pentacles. 
I mean, Ace of, um, not Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Yeah, this definitely may be um, a Capricorn with the Knight of Pentacles here. I feel like they're taking their time or they've been thinking about this a while. They've been thinking about this a while, Aries. They're coming towards you. What is their intention? Let's see what their intention is. Six of Pentacles. I don't like that intention, Aries. To me, that's giving to two people. You're feeding you breadcrumbs. That's what that means. They want to start a new cycle, but I don't like the feeding of breadcrumbs. Don't accept breadcrumbs. They want to reunite. Clarify the Six of Pentacles. Reunion. Again, don't accept breadcrumbs. Okay? I mean, this... Uh, I'm not feeling that bad. I was going to say it could mean just balance, but... No, they've been spying on you. Don't... Okay. You teach people how to treat you, right? Don't accept this. What is this? You deserve more than that, Aries. Just saying. This is past life soulmate. Somebody from the past. And this may be your lesson, Aries, not to accept breadcrumbs. So what are you going to do this time? Are you going to accept it or not? The universe is asking you, do you want to go back and, and be in the same position of this toxic relationship? Or do you want to move forward with new opportunities? Hmm. There was anger in this relationship. There was jealousy in this relationship. There was pettiness in this relationship. There was bullying in this relationship. They're going to apologize for all of this. They're going to tell you that they know what they want. They want you and they want to move ahead. They want to build a foundation with you. This may make you a little bit anxious. And they're going to say that they want a commitment. But, again, listen to half of what they say and all of what they do, okay? Because you got to listen to the actions and, and not the words. Words are easy. Back it up with action, right? Okay, Aries. What is your advice for Aries, please? Two of Pentacles. Hmm. Make a balanced decision and decide what you want, then just go after it. Don't make the decision and then go. So, like, if you decide no, it's not going to happen, then just head in a different direction and don't look back. Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. They're wanting you to focus on something that you're working on, something that you're passionate about. Now, it could be you're passionate about this relationship. It could be that you're going to want to work on this relationship, and that's fine. But remember your worth, Aries. Just remember your worth, okay? Let's get one more card. I always say one more but, yeah, be very discerning when this person comes back. I'm not saying don't listen. I'm not saying don't listen, Aries, okay? Just be very discerning about their mm, intentions, yes, but their actions. Actions speak louder than words, truly. They do bottom of the deck. Don't let them get you all up in your head and in this self-imposed prison. Okay? Choose otherwise. Choose otherwise. So that way you can make a rational decision here with the Queen of Swords and decide do I cut them out or don't I? 
All right, Aries, I hope this resonates. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, the information is in the description box below. Have yourself a great weekend, Aries, and I'll talk to you soon.